Omega. Welcome to Sonic Adventure, the first 3D Sonic game since Sonic Extreme was tied to a rock and sacrificed to appease Yuji Naka's temper tantrums since he forgot to take a nap one day in 1997. Also I gotta preface this by saying I'm playing a modded version of the Steam PC release since Sega's just been porting the same broken releases over and over again since 2003 and refuses to drop a competent version of SA1. So here's the mods I'm using, which might explain some of the funky stuff you're gonna see. Oh yeah! This is happening! You are completely surrounded! Surrender yourself! Lock on target, man! Ready? This may come as a shock, but I'm actually a pretty good speedrunner in this game. Check this out. Come on, you big <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> now you may be wondering, how do I, as a filthy casual, start speedrunning Sonic Adventure? He's got unlimited power, you know. Remember that line, it's gonna be important for later. Supercharge. Now an important part of any speedrun is pausing for like 10 to 20 seconds. Another thing you're gonna wanna nail is this door RNG manipulation at the train station. Very tricky, very technical. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg! This head turn trick doesn't save much time, but it's good to master as soon as possible. Hey, I'll play with you some other time! Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Oh yes! His strength increases every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald! With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me! Now you've got light speed shoes! Alright, I've got to be serious for a second. I've never in my life seen this happen. I've been playing this game for like 10 years now, and every time I go through Sonic's story, he makes it up into the back room of the shop. Ready, go! What? 
What? Now this is the part where I forget whether you need 400 or 500 rings to get to the emerald, so I just keep playing pinball for like 10 minutes, despite the fact that it's objectively faster to go through the sewers, because I just like pinball. Even jank SA1 pinball. Yes! See? I'm a professional. Yes! Now coming up is one of the toughest bosses in the Sonic series. You need to learn this battle by heart before even attempting a run. Give me the emeralds you have, right now! What? Let's just see you take him! Huh. Oh no! Oh no! Give it! Oh no! Uh, oh. oh no! Oh no! The Chaos Emeralds! These are for you, my friend! Transformed again! Man! No one ever cuts us any slack! No joke though, this is the worst boss battle in the entire game. It's not hard, it's just very tedious, and you also have to do it three times to get the true ending. Hey, I'll play with you some other time! If you're wondering why that line sounds so strange, it's because it's a weird translation of the original Japanese line. The original is this. Hey guy! Mata sonderze! which sounds like this, which translates to this. God, that FMV is so cool. and we'll take the tornado! Now at this point, we get a bit sidetracked. Sonic, wait up! You must be kidding! Woo! Bumper cars! Oh shoot! I've lost Amy! I bet that robot hauled Ow! after her! This is the Ancient Light. Ancient Light is an almost useless power-up. You only ever actually need to use it once on an enemy right next to the power-up. So we chase Amy through the mountains and oh god it's Sky Chase again. But this one's actually fun. You have to try this time. Sky Deck is this crazy intense rush for a level because it changes as you run through it. The ship is both being destroyed by you and destroying itself trying to catch you. You start on the underside of the egg carrier's port side wing, blow up a cannon, go up on top through the hole you created when you blew up said cannon, run back towards the main body of the ship, blow up another cannon, and then go inside the ship. It makes you feel like that opening scene in Sonic X where Sonic's running towards an Eggman base while dodging gunfire and fighting mechs. It's just super rad. There's even a cool area where you can see where you blew up the first cannon on the underside of the wing, and a portion of the level specifically to show off the edge of the wing breaking up after you run through it. SA1 is packed with tiny details like this, like that electric chair in Red Mountain. Yeah. Yes! Is that it? It might be, but let's check out the bridge. Donkey! 
Amy, out of my way! No! This robot is my friend! He helped me! Chaos 6 is super weird because he's the one boss in the game where there's a shortcut to actually beat him faster. This is the only other time in the game I've found where Ancient Light is beneficial and doesn't just fling you to your death. I hate Eggman. Hmm? That light. I think it's trying to show me something. What's this place? Where am I? Behind B. And now Sonic is finally involved in the main plot roughly an hour into his campaign. What was that all about? Hmm? Eggman! What a thrill With darkness and silence through the night well, if it isn't my pal Sonic, I'm surprised you made it this far. I'm dancing, bro! Get a load of this! Get a load of this! <laughs> See ya. I tried that Chaos 6 Ancient Light trick here on Egg Viper to see if the attack actually does do double damage to bosses, but no dice. So I guess someone on the dev team just really hated the Chaos 6 battle and wanted it to go by faster. I wish they hated the Chaos 4 battle. You give up? No way! I can't believe this! Watch out! He's up to something! Damn right he is. This final attack Eggman pulls is pure bullshit. though that's not to say it's not in line with his character. Stand still and you get to do the whole boss fight over again. Hey, I'll play with you some other time!
And that Sonic story. I can't think of a funny way to end the video. Chaos 6 is super.